Wait, wait, wait. It's not about profit centers. Yeah. If somebody says, I am the way to something, they're yeah. not the destination. Yeah. Okay. Was Jesus the destination? Yeah. No. He's he the way to... No, yeah. You're right. He's the way to the destination. Good. He's not the destination. Because he's fully God and right, fully right, man. Right. He's an aspect of God. Just try to, to just try to understand something. Okay. If you're way and not the destination, so there's a difference between way and destination. Yeah. Was Moses the way to God? No. So people can go to God without him at his no. time? He preached to them because they were, they were lost. So if they did not yeah. follow Moses, yeah. they could still go to God? No. So he was the way to God? He, he showed them how to go to God. So he was the but way he, to God? He didn't claim to be God. It's not about claiming. It, try, to understand, try to understand yeah. conceptually. If Moses, peace be upon him, yeah. is telling people how to go to God, yeah. he is the way to God. Okay. Because he's telling people how to go to God. Yeah. But he's not God. Yeah. So all the prophets, we say, are way to God. Yeah. Because people have to follow them and their teaching that they brought from God yeah. to go to God. Jesus did not ever claim that I am God. Did he ever? He did. Where? He did. There's verses. He doesn't have Do you understand my... He's not, not going to tell them I am wait, God. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know something? Okay. Has, G has God ever told anyone that I am God and worship me? He has. Are you he sure? In, the, well, in our Old Testament, he says it to the first people. Good. Was it difficult for him to say that? No. Good. But as a human, he has to, he has to limit himself. He can't go out and say, because they're not, they're not gonna, he's not going to go and say, I am God, worship me. Why not? He gave them, because... Oh, no, why not? Because, firstly, there was, there was the Jewish law. Yeah. So Jewish law from who? The Jewish law at the time. No, Jewish law from who? From God. No. Yeah. Who gave this law? But well, well, it was Nicholas. Yeah. Who gave this law to them? God. God. Right. Yeah. So according to God, he has a law. Yeah. Blasphemy. That blasphemy. What is blasphemy? Claiming to be God. Or right. Jesus. But if you're God, yeah. you're not blaspheming. Yeah. If you're God, and you say I'm yeah. God, is that a blasphemy? You're not. Good. So Jesus, yeah. according to you, is God. Yeah. So, by him saying I am God, it's not blasphemy. But his purpose, that wasn't his purpose. It's not our purpose. My question to you, Nicholas, is simple. If he was God on earth, yeah. why didn't he make it simple and clear to people that he was God? Because he would have, like, um, when he said it, when he almost said that, um, when he was forgiving people, they went to stone him. No, why did he not say I am God and worship I, me? I just said it to you. Because? Because, because when he said it to them, because he, when he said to them, he, he was forgiving people, and he said only God can forgive sins, he, and he said, he's telling people, you're forgiven. They, they picked That's stone, not true. They picked stones. To do, you know Lord's, do you know Lord's Prayer? Yes, it is. Yeah. So what's the Lord's Prayer? The Lord's Prayer. O oh, our, Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done, thy kingdom come, and then? And on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, and? Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us our trespasses. As, as we forgive those. As we forgive again. those. So human beings do forgive others as well. Yeah. It doesn't make them God. Yeah. But he's telling them, you're, he did this, you're forgiven. No, he didn't say that. He did. He didn't say, I forgive you. He said, you are, sins are forgiven. He said, your sins are forgiven. Okay. Where, where what, does this come from? One second. Okay. If I say... No, I don't want to be your sins. It's okay. If I say the door is open, yeah. in a passive voice, who has opened the door? Do you know who opens the door? The door is open. Yeah. Who's opened the door? Uh, he open the door. If I make a statement, the door is open. Yeah. Now tell me who's opened the door. Because the door is open. Because in this statement in English language, in a passive voice, you don't know who or has opened the door. Yeah. Right? So if I say if, if I say your sins are forgiven, yeah. who's forgiving the sin? Am I claiming I'm forgiving the sin? If I make a statement, your sins are forgiven. Am I claiming I'm forgiving the sin? Your sins are forgiven. Am I forgiving forgiving those sins? Okay, forget that. No, 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 forget that. This is precisely what's in the New Testament Jesus is saying. So let's use his words. I say to you, your sins are forgiven. Am I claiming that I am forgiving the yeah, sins. But he, he went telling people your sins are forgiven. Right, you, he said you can, you can only enter your, God's kingdom by believing in Nicholas, me. Nicholas. Yeah. If he says your sins are forgiven, yeah. there's a difference between I am forgiving your sins yeah. and your sins are forgiven. Do you follow? Yeah. Good. Did he ever make a claim, I am forgiving your sins? 
is mostly a debate here. Where? I don't know the right what he did. Okay. If you don't know, no problem. I don't know anything. No, no, no problem. But I can tell you for, for, for sure there is no verse in the Bible. Okay? You can correct me okay. next time when you come, yes. just to say I found a verse. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm positive it doesn't exist okay. because we've been discussing this kind of question for donkey's years. Okay. Right. Jesus Christ, did he say that he has a God? What about our family? He did. But does God say... He made the claim that he is God. Where? It doesn't have to be... Okay, where does he say he's God? He says, he says I'm the father of one. One what? Like I, it doesn't specify. Like <laughs> when you want to make okay. a claim, yeah. okay, look, yeah. you okay, and I, okay. okay but in well, the Quran, well, it, he well, doesn't well, say well, I'm a One second, one second, one second. Quran, he, never what, he does, he does, yeah. he does, he does. Okay. In Surah Al Maryam, yeah. when the baby is brought to yeah, the people, he says that. listen, no, listen, people listen, for him. He listen, listen, it. listen. Okay. He says, Inni Abdullah. In Atani al Kitab, yeah. yeah. I'm just paraphrasing. He says those things, okay. right? He, he makes a claim. So if I say to the crowd, me and Nicholas are one, yeah. what do you understand? One what? Yeah, one what? Maybe in purpose? No, one what? We are one. One second. Yeah. Just to understand the, the phraseology. Me and Nicholas are one. One what? One nation, one what? One person, but we're not one person. One what? One what? Essence. Me and Nicholas are one. One. One what? It's not clear, is it? Yeah. Because we can be one. One. Okay. One family. But we can be one. Listen. Listen. Because we. But when he makes a claim. Nicholas. To Nicholas. Yeah. Okay. Every statement that you bring, do you agree? It has to speak for itself, rather yeah. than you need someone else to explain to you what it means. Yeah. Right. So when he says, "I am the Father of One," yeah. it could be. I'll give you options now. Yeah. It means he's one God. Yeah. They're one in purpose. Do you agree? Yeah. Which one do you think it's, he, he means there? One in purpose, one in one Okay. In <laughs> what, if, what if we find that he actually goes further yeah. and then he explains the same oneness yeah. and says, just like, just like I... It's okay. Can you give some more room to the sister? Just like... Just like you and I are the one. Yeah. yeah? You and I are one. Yeah. You, the disciples, will be one with us. Yeah. So, the same oneness will make the disciples God too. Do you agree? Yeah. Do you believe the disciples are God? No. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's other verses where, if you don't agree with that, there's, it says, I, I'm the light of this world. Oh, no, no. We'll go to those verses. Yeah. Let's understand one yeah. point at a time. Yeah. Me and Father are one yeah. is also used elsewhere yeah. by Jesus Christ using the same analogy yeah. and he includes the disciples. Yeah. You would know from context it doesn't mean one God because yeah. if it meant one God, the Father and Jesus meaning one God and he says it's the same oneness, yeah. then the disciples will be one. So it doesn't mean he's actually God. Yeah, yeah. He's claiming to be one in purpose. Yeah. Right. Where else did he say I am God in any implication? I'm Alpha and Omega. Whoever believes in me, wait, wait. I'm the resurrection. Slow down. Alpha and Omega. Yeah. What does Alpha mean? First and the last. He means he was there. In the... Okay, forget those. When he okay. says, he, he talks about how amazing Abraham was, Rahim. Mm -hmm. He talks about how amazing he was. Yeah. And then he goes on, on to say, before Abraham, I am. But in that I am part, what? I am, because that's what that's what God said to Moses. In, um, no. On the no, he did not. He did. Even a beggar said, I am. But you're, you're applying what you're saying. No, no, I, I'm okay. going to give you the context. Do you know, there's a beggar in the Bible, in the New Testament, says, he says, I am. Yeah. He's the beggar God. Okay, but that doesn't mean anything. Jesus said it, it's different. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. If somebody claims, I am the name of God, does it make, does it make him God? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. How did the Jewish people understand when he said, before Abraham was, I am? Because he said it, it was his name that they weren't allowed to say. No. Context is the yeah. key. So Jesus was doing something, yeah. and what, what did he say? He says, My father Abraham saw my day and he yeah. rejoiced to see that day. Yeah. Did he say that? He said that. Yeah. And what did they say? And they, You're they, not even 50 years old. How yeah. can you say. That's when they picked up stones. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah. Nicholas, slow down. The context is, is the key. Yeah. So they said, You're not even 50 years old. Yeah. How can you claim to be. And the time of Abraham, Abraham seeing you, you seeing Abraham, right? Because you're not even 50 years old. Yeah. And his response was, before Abraham was, I am. Yeah. 
Exactly. So his answer to their question is what? That's his claim to divinity. Before Abraham, because they're saying you're not even 50 years old. Yeah. He says, I was not only during the time of Abraham, yeah. even before Abraham I, I was. Yeah. What is he trying to establish? Divinity. No. He's trying to say his pre-existence. Yeah. Their That's question, still divinity. Pre no, it's not. It, okay, it's not the same. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll tell you why it's okay. not. Pre-existence. Yeah. Do you know someone called Melchizedek in the Bible? He's also contemporary to Abraham. You see, the things get now very, very, very interesting. Melchizedek or Melchizedek in Hebrews? Melchizedek, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something and tell me whether who this is. Someone without a beginning of days, end of days, right? No father, no mother, no genealogy. Who can that be other than God? Can there be anyone yeah. with no beginning? I, I told you, one, I don't one, know everything. No, 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 I am going to, I'm, okay. that's why I'm yeah. telling you. And now you can check okay. afterwards. Yeah. If yeah. somebody is now described to have no beginning of days, yeah. nor end of days. I don't. Yeah? No beginning of days, yeah. no end of days. It's not just Alpha, he's yeah. saying I have no beginning. Yeah. It's not just Omega, even more, I have no end. Yeah. It's more claim than Alpha and Omega. If somebody said that, yeah. or somebody's described, yeah. you would say that's a description of God, would you not? Yeah. Right. That's Melchizedek was contemporary of Abraham, yeah, and it is not, it is not the Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit. Okay, where is it for? This is in Hebrews, Hebrews seven three. Thank you, brother. Do you want to have a look at it? Uh, sorry, Hebrews what? Seven three. This Have you got it? It's in direct reference of Jesus. Who is this Melchizedek? It's referring to Jesus. Hebrews 7. Three. No. It is. But made like the made like the Son of God remains a priest continually. He is not the Son. Yeah. So this is different than the Son? It's still referring to Jesus. No, it's not. You can go and check with your okay. priests and rabbis. Yeah. Um, I'm not it, Jewish. Are you a priest? I'm Christian. Your scholars? Yes. Yeah. Do that, okay. and you, you can, I can give you lots of commentary now if you want. Okay, I have. I'll look into it, but I need to go. And just... But no problem, no problem. As you realize, this is a candidate of being God. Yeah. But as you know, this is cannot be God. Yeah. yeah? Even though it's referring to a human yeah. being. In the Old Testament, God presides in the assembly of gods. Yeah. How many gods do you believe in? That's not. That's not true. That's what the, the Old Testament. That's Old Testament says that. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't. I'll show you. Psalms. It, it can't say anything of God's Psalms. 82. Yeah. Here, you can check this out. I am, especially directly. I know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. So, shall I. Psalms, I'll show you something very interesting. Psalms 82 interlinear. Okay? Okay. Inter so what does interlinear mean? It will give me the original um, okay. text. If it's in Hebrew, Hebrew, if it's in Greek, Greek, right? Uh -huh. Here, look. Yeah. A psalm. God takes his stand in the congregation of El. Um, God is congregating I, I, I know what you mean. in an assembly of God. In that, uh, it's, referring, it's referring to the, uh, because in the uh, Middle Eastern, yeah, mm -hmm. in, the, in the history, they, wor they worship like um, different, like multiple. They, like, no, no. Yeah. This is Before, in the heaven, heavenly court. Yeah. Okay. Not, not human, not in Syria, not in Palestine. Yeah. Yeah. God is, a, is having a council, a congregation the, of sorry, gods the... among the Elohim. Look. Among who? Elohim. So the Old Testament 
is often polytheistic in nature. The reason when it says he judges among the gods, I haven't gone to that verse yet. Yeah. This is the first verse. Okay. He is in the congregation of who? Yeah. Elohim. Yeah. What does Elohim mean? That's exactly what I told you in English. Yeah. What are, what what does Elohim it's mean? The, it's the name of the pagan like. No 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 no. God is in a court, heavenly court, yeah. not a he human court. Okay. Okay, in I, this I didn't know that. Okay. Now you know. Yeah. In a heavenly court, yeah. there are other gods. Yeah. Elohim. Yeah. Okay, with this, he's talking. There's, they're making, they're showing he's, he is the true God, not, not the gods that the, the, the people in no, the no, Middle no. East at the time worship. God is saying it's, okay. that he has a congregation. You have to look at the other verses near it. I know what verse you're talking about. No, I'm talking about not verse 6. The verse 6 that yeah. Jesus was using okay. to, to defend yeah. him from an accusation that was made. Do you know that? Yeah. He used this verse 6 yeah. to refute the Jewish people yeah. who said... Because at the time the Jewish people, they were worshipping the God of Adam and Eve whilst worshipping other... Like, no, 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 no. They, they said, they said, Jesus was blaspheming, yeah. making himself God. He said... Okay. You have to go shortly? Yeah. Okay, so what we, if you have to go, let me summarize. Okay. Would you worship a God who is God, independent, self-sufficient, like Allah, as samad Al-Ghani? Okay. Or would you worship a God who is dependent? You're, you're applying the Muslim logic of Allah. I'm you asking you a simple Muslim. question. Okay. You are a human being, I'm a human being. Yeah. We need to worship God. Yeah. Agree? Would you worship a God yeah. who is dependent or would you worship a God who is self-sufficient? When you say he's dependent, you're, you're going to make the claim that Jesus, he died this, that, what? When he did that for a purpose to save us. It's not a purpose. It is. because God, okay. a God yeah. who is perfect, is independent. Yeah. A God who is imperfect, he's dependent. Yeah. So do you worship a perfect God or an imperfect God? Perfect God. A perfect God would be independent or dependent. But a perfect God can do anything they want. So they can, no. can die, you can become a human and die. The definition of perfection yeah. is free from imperfection. Okay. <laughs> Dying... But see, you're, you're applying a separate Nicholas, definition. Nicholas. Okay. Dying, yeah. not knowing about things, yeah. being so weak, yeah. these are imperfections. Okay. Do you agree? Yeah. No, do you agree? I agree. Agree what? I agree. It's the, your definition. No, no, no. You're applying... Your definition. Yeah. Do you agree God is the truth yeah do you then affirm god would never lie and lying would be imperfection yeah right so you will reject god to be a liar yeah. because he's truth yeah if god is unknowledgeable would you reject god is ignorant um. if he's unknowledgeable would you reject that he's ignorant yeah, yeah. so you have to reject the imperfection yeah. ignorance dying are imperfection yeah, yeah. so who would you worship? A God who is all knowledgeable, like Allah, all powerful, like Allah, everlasting, like Allah. Or are you going to worship a God that comes down and people beat him up and he dies and says, Who are you going to worship? But he existed in more than one place at a time. Are you going to worship a God who is perfect or imperfect? Perfect, as Jesus Christ, because he came down. Okay, one minute. He came down to save us. He was God in the is, is dying a sign of perfection? No, you don't, you, you're missing the point because everyone was... What am I missing? Everyone was destined to die because of, uh, because of the sin that we've, we've made. Is God someone yeah. liable to death? No, because he, came, he, he was the only one that was worthy. Because he, was, he became a sinless human. Uh, um, his, was he knowledgeable? His blood, his blood was pure, yeah? Was he knowledgeable? Hmm? Was he knowledgeable yeah. when he became a human? Of course. Did you know the hour? Of course. The Bible says no. Okay, it says he didn't, but when he went to heaven, he knew that. No, at that time, he was on earth, try to earth. try to understand my point. Yeah. If you're on, I'll, I'll look into your point, but I need to go. What now. point are you looking into? Into the 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 man the man you're telling me about the milk. No. Physics. If you're all knowledgeable, yeah. are you always all knowledgeable, or you're all knowledgeable except thirty years, thirty-three years? What does all knowledgeable mean? Then he said he, had, he was um, destined to Think die. about it. If you're all knowledgeable, yeah. does your all knowledgeable omniscient include 33 years that's or exclude it? He was limit, that's, you're missing one point. That's why he was limited to being a human. God can limit himself? No, because God can exist in more than one place at a time. Can God, limit, can God limit his life? Yeah. Um, 
No. Why not? He died and rose no, again. No. Why, why can God not limit his life? Okay. Sorry? Why cannot God limit his life? Why cannot God limit his life? Yeah. Because he's God. No, 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 no. Why is it not possible God to limit his life? Shall I tell you why? Why? Because he's everlasting with no end. That's, That's why. True. And we, we say right. that. Right. Do, do, do you say God we is? Say, do, you, do you say God is unknowledgeable? We say Jesus. Is do you say God is unknowledgeable? Father is unknowledgeable. Well, when Jesus was in heaven, he was unknowledgeable. And then when he came down, is he unknowledgeable? Because he's on earth. He's limited to being a human like us. You see, the question of limiting his knowledge does it make sense? It does. Because How he, does it make sense? He's a human like us. He's got the same body as us. But, but he what does, about he does? What about he's in his divinity? He does know his divinity. In his divinity, he he's all knowledgeable. He is. He is. So as as a person, Jesus, when he says, "I don't know," actually, he does know. Yeah, yeah he does know. He does know. So he. Yeah. So so when he says, "I don't know," he does know. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You take care. Right? Yeah. Like, so he's taking it. Uh, you take know, care, yeah. and perhaps you can speak again. I'll, yeah? look, I'll look into it. That night, yeah. please. Okay. Take care. Hecklers get a life. No, no, he has to go before the second.